Hi, I'm Steve Gibson of Southern Draw Kayak Fishing in Sarasota, Florida. Few things in fly fishing are more exciting than sight fishing snook in the surf. I've been doing this now for more than 30 years. In this video, I'll share many of my insights. Typically, these fish will be from the dry sand out to about five feet. So that would be from right here where this lip is out to those rocks, somewhere in between the dry sand and those rocks. But today, they're not in the feeding zone so much. They're out over the rocks out there. They are structure-oriented fish, so they'll, they'll hold over rocks, uh, grass, pilings, whatever you can find out here. Uh, this just happens to be a beach with a nice rock shelf. And this is typically a good spot that uh, usually pays off over, has always paid off over the years. This could be a Caribbean island. The water is green and clear, just absolutely beautiful. And I've been in the Bahamas and Grand Cayman and walked the beach just like this for bonefish. Well, instead of bonefish, I'm looking for snook. Ironically, there had been bonefish caught along this beach. A few years ago, a fella was out, saw a bunch of what he thought was snook. Uh, he cast and ended up with a 26 inch bonefish. By the way, right here I'm pointing at about, oh, maybe 10 snook sitting right there. Don't know if you can see them, but I hope you can. I'm going to cast to them. Bunch of snook out there. See if they'll hit. They didn't look at it. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. He hit it. By golly, he did. <laughs> There's 20 fish right there sitting in that hole. Problem is, is that they're facing out from me, facing away. One turned on it. That one turned on it. He, oh, he he hit, he hit, and I missed it. He just didn't get it. Okay, there's still a bunch of them there. Still a bunch of them there. One after it. One after it. One after it. Another one after it. Oh, that's a nice one. He he hit. That's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. That's a good fish. There was a bunch of fish there. I'm using a barbless hook. My fly is a DT variation, which is a fly that I've had a lot of success on out here. Here's the snook right there. Nice fish. I'm using a six weight TFO BBK with a matching BBK reel, a uh, intermediate sink tip line, clear sink tip, Orvis. My fly, as I said before, oh, there's a there's another snook following mine, so there's plenty of them out there. Great fly rod fish. Just take your time. He swims left, pull right. He swims right, pull left. Just remember, you got all the time in the world. There's no hurry. We're going to release these fish anyway. back up on the beach and I kind of let the wave action land my fish when he's ready using 20 pound shock tip at fluorocarbon looks like he, ate, he really ate the ate the fly and the fish right there that's a nice nice snook a beautiful snook. Real chunky. No, he got it right in the corner of the mouth. Right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful fish. Love it. Clouds are your worst enemy. Once the sun goes behind the cloud, those glare on the water you really can't see very well in it at all. Uh, reduces your window of visibility to just a few feet. Uh, really makes it tough. So what you need is a, is a clear day, but we don't get a lot of those during the summer, especially by mid-morning and afternoon, we get clouds. And uh, 
Sometimes can give okay. you a problem. We got a bunch of snook here moving north. Let's see if I can get one. Guess out here in front of them, we're gonna fly in. Yeah, hey, one's following it. One's following it. He ate, he ate, Let the fish do what he wants to do. If he wants to put you on the reel, he will. Don't take you in the back and he will. There's just no force. A lot of people are so concerned about getting on the reel that they put slack in the line and loose fish. I just hand strip them in, but if they want to go on the reel, that's There's great. Probably about 30 snook right where that wave is, right on the bottom, right now. You can see this next wave coming in right where it is right now. That's where they are. Not the best situation, they're all lying there facing west, but it's the only fish that we got, so we're going to give them a try. Cast out beyond them. Let's see what happens. Watching my fly. And nothing on it at all. Oh, there's, I got, got one. That's a nice fish right there. That's a nice fish. Good deal, good deal. This is a good one. This is a real good one. Set the hook a couple more times. I'm using barbless hooks right by the way. When I tie my fly, I mash the barb down. This is a, this might be bigger than that first one. Nothing to get in trouble, so you don't have to worry. That's why you can use a six weight for this. He's out there a ways. Alright, a couple more turns and I'll be in the backing. I'm in the backing. I've been doing this a long time and it helps to know. The experience is a great teacher. Oh yeah, this is a nice fish. I can see him there on the bottom. Good fish. Eh, maybe about the size of the first one. Yeah, really nice fish. Beautiful. Look how his tail is all beat up. I don't know if that is spawning behavior or what, but that's a nice fish. Beautiful. Release fish. him, and he's going to swim right away. There he goes. And he's off. None the worse for the wear. Beautiful, beautiful Florida beach snook. Snooker, structure oriented fish. Most of the time structure means rocks, grass, docks, pilings, uh, ledges, drop offs, what have you. But many times out here on a beach, shadows like the one you see here hold a lot of uh, snook. I have uh, always check out s shadows when I'm, when I'm out here on the beach. A lot of times they'll just be sitting in the shadow. You've got to look carefully. And sometimes you'll just barely catch a glimpse. Oftentimes I'll just see the gold edge of their peck fin. I've hooked a lot of different species and landed different species over the years. Uh, in addition to snook, I've landed redfish, flounder, ladyfish, jack creval, uh, Spanish mackerel, mangrove snapper, pompano, spotted sea trout, uh, houndfish, and I've hooked tarpon. I've hooked about three tarpon uh, doing this, and of course, 100 pound tarpon on a six weight rod standing stationary on the beach, you don't have much of a chance. So I broke them off each time. But there's a lot of fish out here, you've just got to keep your eyes open and be able to recognize uh, what's a fish and what's not. 
Snook are in the surf from April through August. If you live in the area or will be visiting, you might want to give it a try. The area offers the best sight fishing for snook in the surf in this country. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're hooked up to a nice snook soon. I'm Steve Gibson, and I'll see you on the beach.